Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily read. So today we're taking a look at how to release the blockage and this is akin to your spiritual laxative for the week. So what we're doing is we're taking a look at whatever it is that's going on for you at the moment, what is causing your current situation, what is then causing the blockage and how you can then release that particular blockage okay um, i'm gonna start your read a little bit back to front today okay uh, i'm gonna start it with the healing oracle and then we're gonna pull the tarot uh, so the reason why i'm doing this is so that we can figure out what area of your life you're currently feeling that uh restriction or that blockage the most at this point in time okay that wasn't the card jumping by the way that was me dropping it Right, so what's going on for our collective, please? Okay. The jeweled web and connectivity. Okay, right, so this one is number 32, and that reduces into a five. And of course, fives do pertain to change, and changes can be difficult, okay? Changes are not bad news. Um, but they can be difficult. So with the jeweled web, it says connectivity, no separation, and the feeling state. Approaching any article requires you to come in with certain expectations. You're either looking for confirmation of what you already know, or attempting to shed light on what eludes you on the obvious path that you're on. You're asking whether you will reach a desired goal of some kind. You're really able to see beyond memory or projection. And so naturally, everyone comes to the Oracle with a narrow perception of what's possible. So they're saying for this one, um, for you to keep an open mind, okay? Um, approach your situation without expectations. Okay, so that, that, that's what they mean with that one. Don't approach your situation from a narrow-minded perspective, all right? Um, and then imagine that the answer to your question is not about landing at a particular destination or meeting a goal or connecting to a special lover or reaching an end game or experiencing anything specific. Instead, you discover a shimmering web of jewels that you didn't know even existed. The world is interconnected in a living web of energy. It isn't possible to know how any of it works, but know this. What is in your highest good is a sparkling jewel that lights up for you among this web of possibilities. So, to break it down, if something isn't working out for you right now, then that's probably actually a good thing that it's not working out, okay? Um, because normally you will find that oftentimes we try and force things to work in our favor or we try and force something to work out when the signs are blatantly obvious that it's just not working out, okay? Um, and they're saying, look, be cautious that you, you could be potentially self-sabotaging by trying to force something to work when it isn't. You could be sabotaging something else that is supposed to be yours. Um, you just need to know how you want to feel and choose this consciously. Take your focus off getting anywhere. So take your focus off um, your end goal. Practice feeling and being in a place where your desired experience has already come to pass. So live it as if it's already happened. Okay. How will you be when this is true for you? Can you be that right now? Can you feel that right now? So practice that. The better you know your path within this web of life, the more it will light up for you. It is celebrating you already. Yeah. So what they're describing with that one is basically the law of attraction. Okay. It's like, look, as long as you're not trying to force something to work out when clearly it's not supposed to work out for you, and you, that's going to be really, really obvious if that is the case. If you are doing that, 
then obviously stop and, and see if you can start to pursue something different. Uh, and for those of you who have already made a lot of progress and you know that this is the right thing for you and then you're like, yeah, but I'm still not as successful as what I would like to be. Well, Spirit's saying, okay, imagine that you are at that point already that you want to be at, okay? Imagine you're already there, start feeling it and start living in that way as if it's already happened, okay? It's part of the laws of attraction. Okay, so that's your article. Now we're going to move into the nitty gritty of your situation. Okay, right. So what's going on for our collective, please? What is their current situation? What is crossing them or what is causing their blockage? And what action do they need to take in order to release the blockage, please? Okay. Okay, so your current situation is the lovers and what's crossing you is the knight of coins. So this is the blockage and then that's the cause of the blockage. Okay, so what it is, what the cause is and what actions you can take. The lovers, your current situation. This could be a situation that involves another person, okay? Because your lovers is all about making a choice. It can be union, it's duality, it's making a choice, another person. And then there's a message about slow and steady. You needn't to take your time with something here, okay? Um, you could be reaching for something that is, at this point in time, outside of your reach. And Spirit saying that there needs to be more of a methodical approach here that you have to take. This is definitely a message about remaining grounded and remaining present in the moment, okay? At the bottom of the deck is the Empress. It's growth and fertility energy, divine feminine energy. There could be another person who is stopping you, who is causing the blockages, right? You could be distracted by another person or another person putting doubts in your head. So again, however that resonates, you're going to know, okay? Obviously, never give your power away like that, okay? If someone said something to you that has made you second-guess yourself, then you needn't stop second-guessing yourself and take a closer look at them, right? This could be a situation where, um, say, if, if you're studying at college or university and you've got these amazing plans for your future, um, you know, you're studying to be a, a doctor or a surgeon or something, you know, anything. And it's like you've met someone who is then consuming every single moment of your day and you're finding yourself no longer able to focus on your studies. You know, that could be a thing that's going on for some people here as well. All right. So again, this is all about never handing over your power to another person. And if anyone is, um, if anyone is worth their salt, then they will wait for you and they will understand why you cannot give them all of your time right now. Okay. I feel that there is a choice that you're going to have to make between yourself and your future and quite possibly another person and their involvement with you or how much time they're, they're consuming of yours, okay? Um, there, there has been something here where somebody has been careless that has caused a blockage or perhaps this is a message about growth and how something isn't growing as quickly as what you would like it to, okay? Um, again, you have to be careful with general reads because they can resonate in so many different ways, okay? So if this is a situation where, say, you're trying to grow a business and it's like you, you could be trying to do it alone, with the Empress being the overall energy, okay? It says nothing about your actual gender. It's just the energy 
you're trying to grow something you're trying to advance on something you're trying to create something really really important not just important to you but important to society as well it's the amplest energy right um so you could be trying to grow something that's really really important and it's just not growing it's just not moving in the right direction or it's not growing as quickly as you'd like or you're not seeing any um big leaps and bounds with with your progress with your success that could be an ongoing issue as well with the knight of coins coming out off balance okay um the knight of coins is already in its upright position a really slow moving energy because it's very deliberate very methodical and it doesn't take risks or chances as in doesn't take stupid risks okay so there could well be the temptation um, for you to do something risky in order to encourage or promote some kind of big growth for whatever this is you're trying to do and spirit's warning against that really loud and clear it's like look don't don't do anything daft right now because that potentially will end up causing you a, a lot more harm than it would good okay this is all about patience and i know nobody likes to hear that word you have to be patient like we all hate it okay um, myself included so you're not alone with that i'm sick and tired of hearing be patient be patient as well because it's like come on like realistically how many years on the planet have we got you know if we're lucky 60 <laughs> right um more than halfway there already like seriously how much time do you think we actually got it's not that much so i completely understand the frustrations with you know shut the fuck up about being patient i ain't got time for that shit like literally nobody does not really that is the message though okay is like look if you're wanting the type of growth that is sustainable knight of coins that's sustainable growth then you are going to have to be patient if you're wanting the kind of growth where it's like a flash in the pan success and it's over and done with before you know it then fair enough take all the risks that you want right but this is something important the empress is your overall energy you're working on something genuinely really really important and then we've got you wondering am i doing the right thing am i on am i even on the right path am i on my destined path am i supposed to be doing this if i was supposed to be doing this then surely it would be growing by now and it just isn't so therefore i can only deduct from that that clearly i'm not on the right path so you know logic says i need to go off and try something different okay now i'm not going to be able to tell you the crystal clear answer for that in a general read okay especially when you had the jeweled web that came out because there, there were two clear messages there number one if you're trying to make something work and it isn't working out for you and you know it's not working out for you and you know that it's causing you more harm than it is good to try and persevere and pursue that and it's just not working out then you may as well cut your losses and see what else you can do instead and then the other part of that message was like sometimes things are gonna take time they are gonna take time to grow so i guess it all comes down to you at the end of it all right it's like how patient are you willing to be how much are you willing to work for this thing that you're working on how much are you willing to sacrifice how much are you willing to sacrifice for for this thing of yours to be successful that you currently feel blocked in okay it, it, it ultimately it all comes down to you where you can be proactive and where you have to then put the brakes on and take a step back okay because timing is everything timing is absolute key right what is causing the blockage the vast majority of the times what is causing the blockage is this nine of swords which is stressing out about it is causing more blockages the more you stress the more pressure you're putting on yourself and then the less you will see the positives in what it is you're actually trying to do does that make sense 
that's why they say the more you stress and worry then the more uh stressful and worrying things will come into your life because that's all you'll see that's all you'll see if all you're doing is threatening and stressing and worried and full of anxiety then that's all that you're gonna see right and again remembering the other message that came with the jeweled web which was about the law of attraction right what action you need to take in order to release the blocks aid of swords think it through carefully and realize as well that you're not actually stuck you're not as stuck as what you think you are okay and that you have made progress clearly you have made progress i'll show you and um, oh i don't know if i can show you actually um wasn't a very good deck to use for this one so in the background there's like a castle i'm really sorry if you can't make it out with the super reflective cards but there there is a castle in the background of that right right behind her there's a castle and that is clearly a metaphor for all of the hard work that you've already put in that's a metaphor for everything that you've already built up but your back is turned to it so you're not able to see it because you've turned your back on it yeah don't lose sight of what you've already built because that's no small feat right you've already built so so much you've already succeeded at so so much just because you're stuck with this one thing right now doesn't mean that you're going to be stuck on it forever and red red is going to be a power color for you definitely i'm seeing red all over this read you might find that red will be your lucky color this month <laughs> you never know that could be the color that maybe you need to wear more of to make you feel more confident you know to ha to help you out with this law of attraction thing But you can take back your power. You, I mean, she's she's not really bound, okay? She can just wriggle and then that binding will just fall straight to her feet. And then she can just take off that blindfold. So it's like spirit saying, collective, what is it that you're not seeing? Why is it you feel stuck or trapped? Why, why are you feeling blocked? Did, did you forget everything that you've already succeeded at? Everything that you've already built? Yeah. That's under the Empress, the Three of Swords. Disappointment. A disappointment in something. This is creepy because it told you in the jeweled web. A disappointment in something could actually end up leading you towards something else that is more in alignment with you three of swords to the wheel of fortune that's spooky because that's literally the exact same message that you've already received so maybe one aspect of something that you're trying to grow isn't meant to grow or at least not right now so focus on a different element of what you're supposed to be growing focus on a different element instead yeah and you can always go back to this original thing later on down the line and you've got the ten of the ten of wands underneath that one which is a lot of work a lot of responsibility I'm hearing you're trying to push something up a metaphorical hill and it just won't go right now. It's not the time, it's not the season, or something's not ready. I don't think it's I don't think they're saying you're not ready, okay? I know you're ready, I can see you're ready. I don't think that this is you're not ready. I think this is the thing that you're trying to work on, build and grow right now. Or maybe even society isn't ready for what it is that, that you're trying to put out there. Okay. I've got to keep an open mind every bit as much as you guys have got to keep an open mind. Okay. Works both ways. I don't know the specifics of this. 
I can only read the energies, okay? I'm not going to be able to get you the specifics. And it's going to be different for everybody anyway, all right? But this is changing up your focus temporarily. So that you can come out of this nine of swords, eight of swords. Because at the moment, it's like you're just metaphorically banging your head up against a brick wall. And it's not actually achieving anything. Okay. What else for our collective? What else for our collective to release the blockage, please? Breaking molds. That's why. That's, that's why you're struggling. That's why it's difficult. That's why it's not growing. Or it's not growing as quickly as what you would like it to. It's because you're trying to break the mold. You're trying to do things differently. And that's not an easy thing to do. You're not a sellout. And it's vital that you hold on to that. It will grow when the time is right. It definitely will. Breaking boundaries raise all identifications, anything which fixes you permanently into one mold, a new way, different or unique. Or perhaps you're trying to force fit yourself into a mold where you don't fit. And maybe that's what's causing you the blockage. So again, discernment required and take it as it resonates. Either you're trying to break the mold and trying to bring the world a new way and a different way of doing things. And that's genuinely, at the moment, it's not receiving a good reception because society is not ready for it right now. Or this is going to be the other way around, where you're trying to force yourself to fit into a box or fit into a mold that you're not supposed to fit into. So find a new way, a different way, a better way of doing things. Find your own way of doing things. I think that's such a beautiful, beautiful message for you. Independent, yeah, with the cat. A time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge. You're more powerful than you know. Be free, detached, uncommitted. Uncommitted. I feel that what they mean with that one is analyze where your commitments lie and are your commitments in the right places, okay? Um, r remain aloof and unattached to any potential outcome. Um, but of course, do appreciate your growth so far, right? Um, rise to the challenge. I do feel that you have been set on a course specifically to do something that isn't easy and it is very important. You are more powerful than you, than you know. You need to recognize and acknowledge your own power. What else for our collective, please? So I do like to end these readings on a bit of a high note, okay? Some of these cards could be super, super uh, sweary or sarcastic. So obviously, if you're allergic to any of that sort of thing, then you don't have to listen. Some of them are all right, actually. So, you know, some of them come out after I've given the warning. And it's like, wow, there was literally nothing in that one. Um, but yeah, I like to use these lighthearted energy cards at the end of the read, just as so you'll leave the read with a bit of a smile on your face, okay? Right, you're not your situation. Yeah, you're not your situation. One of the keys to becoming spiritual AF is to define who you are by something deeper inside yourself and further outside yourself than the world can touch. 
you're someone even if you're not your financial situation you're not your job you're not your relationships you're not even your body find out who that person is and you will be unfuck withable hint you'll probably have to do some soul searching yeah it's time to dig deep do some soul searching who, who are you beyond your name, beyond other people's expectations of you? You know, why, why do you feel that this thing that you're trying to do isn't growing? Is that your perception of it? It's not growing or is that someone else's perception of it's not growing? Yeah, dig deep. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you guys today. I just genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful. If it did help, can you please help me out by giving a cheeky wee uh, thumbs up on the video or a, a nice little comment underneath. It just basically it lets the algorithm know um, that this reading was beneficial to you, okay? Because YouTube has not been promoting my channel for over three years and... <laughs> the same as everyone else I would quite like to start growing now please <laughs> okay so yeah if if the read helped you out then a cheeky wee like sh should be suffice um I am taking bookings on my website and my website is phoenixkiataro.com the link for that is in my description box below don't forget to go check out all of your other signs and the daily reads as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye